All right, here we are in module four, decimals, lesson five, video one. And what we're going to be learning today is to explain the effect of multiplying and dividing numbers by the powers of 10. Once again, this is something you probably remember from August when we did powers of 10 with whole numbers. Now we're doing powers of 10s with decimals. And we're going to start right off with our launch, and we have a couple of mystery numbers here for us to try and figure out. Um, a is 10 times as much as B. C is a thousand times as much as A. So what I want you to do on the page facing page 45, right? Page 45 is your um, magnifying glass page and then facing it over here, I want you to write number one and put those letters in order. So we have letters that are unknowns, right? We can sometimes use letters to represent unknown numbers. So here's A, B, C, and we need to figure out an order for them. So A is 10 times as much as B. C is 1,000 times as much as A. What order do they go into? Okay, is that what you wrote? Do you agree with that? And, oops, I forgot to mention, least to greatest. Okay, so this is the smallest. So if you did yours greatest to least, then this, you would have them backwards, right? So this would be the smallest. A is 10 times as much as B, and C is 1,000 times as much as A. So C would be our largest. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so now you're writing number two, and you just need to write the letters in order. You don't need to copy down the problem. Don't waste your time copying down the problem. It's on the screen. D is 100 times as much as F. E is one-tenth as much as F. And as always, you can always stop the video, do some more thinking, uh, collaborate with a partner, and then restart the video, whatever you need to do. D is a hundred times as much as F, and E is one-tenth as much as F. And of course, we're doing them from least to greatest. Okay. And you're writing them down. Right, E, F, D. E is the smallest, it is one-tenth as much as F, and D is the largest, it is hundred times as much as F. All right, make sure you have that written down, and let's try the next one. All right. Number three, we have four of these, so we're halfway through. G is one half as much as H, and H is a thousand times as much as I. Go ahead and write them in order from least to greatest. Okay, that one was a little more tricky. G is a hundred, one hundredth as much as H, and H is a thousand times as much as I. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, make sure you have that written on your paper for number three. And let's look at our last one, number four. J is... 10 to the second power times as much as L. K is 10 to the third 
power times as much as j. Okay, you're writing down number four and you're putting them in order as best you can. Do you remember what your exponents mean, right? This is an exponent and you have the small number here. Let's see if we can help you out a little bit. 10 to the second power. You remember that that is equal to 10 times 10, right? Not 20, but 10 times 10. Two tens multiplied together, which would be the same as 100. So J is 100 times as much as L. And then K is 10 to the third power, so that's 10 times 10 times 10, right? So that is going to be 1,000, because 100 times 10 is 1,000. So K is 1,000 times as much as J. All right, so does that help you put them in order? Okay, your order is going to be L, J, K. All right, L, J, K. All right, and today we are going to have two more videos and some problem sets and fluency, uh, sorry, uh, mastery check, and we will be multiplying and dividing decimal numbers by the power of 10. That's what you'll be able to do when you finish your mastery check for this lesson. Thanks. See you in the next video.